Hey guys, what is up? Video here, and this time we're we'll be talking about the Super Smash Brothers 4, and um, who, what the characters are going to be, and, and what my predictions are, who I want removed, who I think will be removed, um, everything pretty much. What I think needs to be done to the roster, who needs to be added, all that good stuff. So, um, first of all, um, I'm going to start off with the characters who I know for a fact will be in there. So, obviously, uh, Mario, Luigi, Peach, Bowser, Yoshi, Donkey Kong, Link, um, Zelda, Sheik, Ganon, Samus, uh, Kirby, Olimar, Fox, Falco, Falcon, Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Ness, Marth, Pit has already been announced. Um, Ice Climbers, Game and Watch, and Sonic. Those are the characters I am 90% to 100% sure will make it back. Um, obviously, you know the original 12 characters, whatever from the original Smash Bros, will make it back because um, you know you can't get rid of them. They're the they're the all stars. Um, some of the melee characters who were in melee and in Brawl obviously are going to make it back in, like Peach and Bowser. Um, some of the characters I, I don't think will make it in. Um, let's see here. Uh, I, I don't think Toon Link will make it back in. Um, let's see. I don't think Olimar will make it back in. I think Olimar will be replaced by the new one of the new captains in the new Pikmin game. I could be wrong, but that just makes the most sense. Um, I don't think Wolf will make it back in. Maybe he'll be replaced by another character. We'll see. Um, obviously, Lucario won't make it back in. He's going to probably be replaced by another character. We'll get into that later. Um, I almost want to say Pokemon Trainer won't be in there and be replaced by another Pokemon character. Um, I don't think Ike will be in there. I think he's going to get replaced. I don't think Rob will be in there because he's stupid and no one likes him. And I don't think Snake will be in there just because he was already in one. Doesn't and you know they got to try and get as much different third-party characters. You don't want. I'm, I'm I'm assuming they'll have about four third parties. You don't want two being already existing ones. Okay. So I got a list here of all the characters I think will make it in. So okay. First of all, Pac-Man. I think this is pretty obvious why we think Pac-Man's going to make it in. He fits in. Let's be honest. He has that kind of cutesy... Um, he has that look to him. You know, He fits right in with Kirby and crap like that. Um, Lloyd has an extremely high chance of making it in. Once again, it's being developed by Bandai Namco, who made the Tails games, which were on the GameCube and the Wii, I believe. Don't quote me on that, because I'm not huge into those games. I haven't played any of them. But he's got a pretty high chance of making it in there. I think Little Mac will make it in there because um, Masahiro Sakurai, the creator of the game, said he wants more classic 8-bit Nintendo characters. I think Little Mac has a chance of making it in. Um, plus him being an assist trophy further proves that I think he's going to make it in. Um, Toon Zelda, I think, might make it in if they don't take out Toon Link. Because um, with the new Wind Waker HD, that's why I'm kind of like iffy on if Toon Link will be taken out. Because he's going to be relevant again. Um, so we'll see. Maybe he'll, even be, maybe he'll even be in the style of like the, the Link to the Past Link. We'll see. Because of the new Link to the Past game coming out. Uh, Magnus, this character is from Kid Icarus Uprising. I haven't played that. But um, apparently he's one of the, the main characters in that. Or one of the side characters in that. And it's being developed by, you know, the same person who made that. Um, so I think he has an extremely high chance of making it in there. <clears throat> Zoroark, I think this is pretty obvious. Everybody knows, everyone's a 90% sure Zoroark's going to make it in again since he's kind of the poster boy for um, Diamond and Pearl, I believe. Um, and we haven't really had a Diamond and Pearl representative, I don't think. Um, Mm, is Lucario Diamond and Pearl? I have no clue. My neighbors are outside. It's weird. Because I'm just talking to myself. Um, Krom. Um, this is who I think is going to replace Ike. Is Krom, the main character in... Um, is this game Fire Emblem? 
<laughs> Fire Emblem Awakening. I don't know why I had a complete brain fart there. Um, that just makes perfect sense if you think about it. You had Roy and Marth, and I believe at the time, Roy was the main character of the most recent Fire Emblem game in America. Don't quote me on that, I'm not sure. And Ike was the most recent character for Brawl and during that time period in the Fire Emblem series. Crom will probably replace Ike, and there you go. You got your new Fire Emblem character, which I totally approve of because Crom is a badass. Uh, Girahim is the new Skyward Sword kind of villain, the new villain everyone's talking about. Makes perfect sense to throw him in there. <coughs> there we go. Makes perfect sense for them to throw him in there because of the simple fact that he's the newest villain, and I hope he replaces Toon Link or something because we don't need Toon Link. Uh, next, Bomberman. I think Bomberman has a pretty decent chance of making it in, um, since people, you know, they do want more third-party characters, and Hudson is now owned by Konami. I'm guaranteed there's going to be a Konami representative in there, even if it's not the one I personally want. Rayman, I think, has an extremely ch high chance of making it in there as a third-party character, because Ubisoft has just been, you know, loving Nintendo lately, and I think Rayman or the the Rabbids have an extremely high chance of making it in there, especially since the Rabbids were unlockable characters in TMNT Smash Up, which was co-developed by some of the people who made Smash Bros. It makes perfect sense. And finally, Travis Touchdown. Um, I think a lot of people have talked about this. The fact that the creator wants him in Smash Bros. means that he has a pretty high chance of making it in, especially since Hideo Kojima wanted Snake to be in Brawl or to be in Melee. And um, he was put in Brawl instead because of time reasons he couldn't be put into Melee. Alright. Characters I want. King K. Rool. Self-explanatory. Uh, King. Everyone wants King K. Rool as a villain for the new series. Because the games don't have enough villains and female characters. So there's that. I'm going to save this next one for last. Um, Little Mac, I want Little Mac in there. Little Mac is awesome. We need Little Mac. Um, here's one that not a lot of people talk about, which is Mike from Star Tropics. Um, if you don't know what Star Tropics is, it's an NES game where you run around and you hit people with, yo with a yo-yo. Um, if you want to learn more, you can watch Happy Video Game Nerds videos on, uh, video on it. He did a review on that game. Um, next we have... I would like to see this character replace another Mario character, like uh, freaking stupid Wario. Um, let's let's get Cacletta in there from Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. I know she's not that relevant, but it'd be really cool. She could use her magic to fight in her final Smash. She could turn into the final boss in that game, and be kind of all like um, think of like uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, the last boss. You just kind of wave his arms back and forth. She could do something like that. I think that'd be really cool to see her in there and replace a, a Mario character and add a new female and villain character, getting two of those out of the way. Next, a character I want as the Cav uh, as the Konami representative. Let's get Simon Belmont in there. Simon Belmont fits so much better than Snake. Listen, I like Snake, but he does not fit in with this game. Um, he's too realistic to be duking it out with Mario, right? Um, Simon Belmont started on a Nintendo console. He's He's got every right to be in there as Mega Man, who's now been announced. So definitely, I want Simon Belmont in there. He could use his whip for different things. He could have different all of his different items, like the holy water and the crosses. That needs to happen. Um, like I said, I'd like to see Krom in there. He's got a pretty damn high chance of making it in there. If he's not in there, I'm going to be surprised. Uh, next, we got... Uh, Black Shadow and Samurai Goro. I believe that's his name. Don't quote me on that. You know, the big the big Black Knight dude from uh, F-Zero or Samurai Goro from F-Zero. Because we need re another representative from there. I, I, I'm thinking that we, we do want at least two characters from every series. It makes perfect sense. And f uh, not finally, actually. I got three more characters after this. Uh, Knuckles. Knuckles, I think, would be really cool. His chances of making it in are extremely slim. Because Sonic's already in there. You don't want to oversaturate the roster with with third party characters, like two third party characters from the same company. That's that's kind of um you know, weird. Honestly, Knuckles would fit in better than Sonic would. I would almost go as far as to say 
take Sonic out, put Knuckles in. Knuckles is actually a fighter. He doesn't just spin up in a ball and roll at people, all right? Knuckles would be a way cooler character. He could throw boulders. He could dig underground and, you know, do a freaking Shoryuken on people. That'd be really cool. Um, next is, um, since Bandai Namco is developing this game, I'm thinking we need a Soul Calibur representative, all right? Now, let's assume they can only have one dude, all right? Then that's Pac-Man. Pac-Man was in a Mario Kart game that was developed by Bandai Namco. And so it makes perfect sense that Pac-Man's going to be in there and probably no one else. But let's say we get two. Mother freaking Astroth needs to be in this game, all right? Astroth is so cool. He uses a big axe. And I could totally see him duking it out with, you know, Link and, and um, Ike and... What other Fire Emblem character they put in there, dude? That'd be so cool. I think it'd be awesome. And um, a lot of people would, would argue and say, well, why not Nightmare? And Nightmare, nah, he's got nothing on Astroth. Astroth was also in a, a uh, Pac-Man party game for the GameCube and PS2 and stuff. So that further proves that apparently to Bandai Namco, Astroth's more of the poster boy for that series. And he could have all of his different outfits and stuff. Um, next, Sam Fisher. Um, now I know I just said um, Snake doesn't really fit in, but if you keep Snake in there, you better put Sam Fisher in there so we can have Sam Fisher and Solid Snake battling it out. I only want to see Sam Fisher in this game if Snake is in it. If Snake's in this game and Sam Fisher is not, I'm going to be pissed. I'll tell you that right now. I will not be happy. Next, this is a goofball character I decided to throw in for a cheap laugh. I know none of you will laugh, but Buck Bubble. Come on, man. Buck freaking Bumble would be so cool in this game. If you don't know what that is, it's an N64 game developed by Argonaut Games, but published by Ubisoft. Sadly, Argonaut Games died in, like, 2004, so it's no longer around. So, obviously, all their IPs went with them. So, Buck Bumble's floating out in limbo. And no one's claiming him. Um, and no one bought Argonaut or anything. So no one has the rights to this character. Except for a dead company. But if Buck Bumble was in the game, that'd be cool. He could use like his, his shotgun, his sniper, his machine gun, his rocket launcher. So that'd be cool. And he could fly around and stuff. I think that'd be cool. I'm sorry this video is getting long. I, I, I'm surprised a lot of you even sat through the entire thing. So here's characters I think you should just downright remove. First of all, Rob, no explanation there. He's not even an actual character. He's a freaking toy. All right. Peach, I hate Peach. Why? You could have put any other Mario character in there, but you put Peach? Come on now. Mr. Game & Watch, once again, not really a Nintendo character per se. He, you know, he had this little handhelds, but, you know, it just it's not the same. Take Mr. Game and watch out. He doesn't fit in very well. Um, I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, well, you're stupid. You don't know what you're talking about. I don't care. Mr. Game and watch needs to be taken out. He, he's just a terrible addition. Uh, Wario, this won't happen. I already know it won't happen, especially with Game and Wario coming out. But Wario's just super annoying. He's a stupid character now. He used to be so cool and back in the day of, you know, Wario Land and stuff. But now they just turn him into some fat slob who is not even cool anymore. He used to be some badass who would just ram the crap out of things. And now he's just some fat guy who farts a lot. Toon Link, I've already expressed I'd like to see him taken out and put in another uh, Zelda character like Majora or something like that. I don't know. Uh, Jigglypuff, I'd like to see Jigglypuff taken out. It won't happen, period. But that's just me. Other than that, I think the rest of the roster is pretty solid. Um, maybe take out, like, one of the Pokemon characters, because, I mean, you already got five, right? One, two, three, four, five, and, well, and now if you count all of the Pokemon, then you got freaking, uh, six. So, yeah, maybe take out Ice Climbers or, you know, patch them up, because they're really broken, patch up Meta Knight or take them out and put in, like, Knuckle Joe or something. So those are the characters I think should be in, removed, whatever, who I think will make it in, all that good stuff.
I'm excited for the game. I'm going to buy a Wii U just for that game. And if I don't have a Wii U at the time it comes out, I got a 3DS. So I'm going to be playing this game regardless of if I'm playing it on a tiny handheld or the big screen. I'm playing this mother flipping game. I just want I just hope that some of the characters I want to see in will make it in. Um, with my prediction list, I think it's pretty accurate, to be honest. I think a lot of these characters will definitely make it in. Um, but, I mean, after this, now I'm not looking into the future. The next Smash Bros. game after Super Smash Bros. 4 will be in, like, 2020 or 2021 or something. But how much more can you really get? So, anyways, that's my opinion. Those are the characters I hope make it in. Um, and the reason why Banjo or none of them were on there, except not gonna happen. Stop. Stop saying you want Banjo in the game, because it's not gonna happen. So, at least some of my characters make sense, like Astroth, that makes perfect sense. Anyways, see you guys later.